Hey YouTube, this is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here for LinuxMusicStudio.com, and today I have a little, uh, little surprise for you guys. And I apologize if you hear any background uh, noise. I have my AC and my fan on because it's pretty hot in my fourth-story apartment building here in Brooklyn. So, um, yeah, what this is today is uh, a couple of posts ago I posted about uh, Amiga Pro Tracker being available for Linux now. And if you are a fan of module files or mod files, uh, which are the files, uh, the music files that play in Amiga Pro Tracker, uh, there's a great website called the Mod Archive that features tons and tons, like literally hundreds of thousands of mods, uh, all from, you know, not just Amiga mods, there's also PC mods, uh, which were, you know, ones made in Fast Tracker. There's ones made in Milky Tracker and all kinds of modules that you can listen to and search and find uh, in this website. Now, one of the cool things uh, that I found over the years was this script that somebody had written that allowed you to basically, uh, basically open up a Linux terminal and just play random files from the mod archive. And I thought that was really cool, but I also wanted to be able to download them so I actually modified the script that he had written, and that was by uh, Top uh, Top TNC was the original author, and then I forked it on my GitHub page. And I'm just going to get right into this. So if you want to get this for yourself, just go to my GitHub, which is github.com slash demonic sweaters, and then you'll see a link there, but then you can also just go to slash mod downloader, and it'll go directly to it. And uh, you are going to need Git installed. And if you don't know what Git is, it's a really, really cool uh, website. This was actually, well, it's not just a website. It's a service uh, for code to distribute code uh, freely online. And this was actually created by Linus Torvalds, if you didn't know that already. And he is indeed the creator of Linux. So not only did uh, Linus create Linux, he also created Git, which is a really, really cool thing. So anyway, uh, my code is here. And let me open up another terminal here. This is my webcam. And so first you would make sure that you have Git installed. And in order to do that, uh, you can just do sudo apt install git. It'll ask for your password. OK, and see, I already have it, so it tells me that it's the newest version. But if you don't, it'll go ahead and install that. And then once you install that, you can use the link here on let me move my face out of the way all you're going to do is just go to this clone or download link on the github page and then copy this link right here just go copy and then you're going to go back in your terminal and then you're just going to type git and then clone and then paste that link right there and then press enter and then what that does is it clones that whole directory into your folder where your home folder or wherever you are currently in the terminal so if we cd into mod downloader this is the folder that it just downloaded so let's see what's in there now i included in this uh folder both well i didn't include it it's just part of what happens in git when you clone another project or you fork a project and start working on it, it's going to take the original project and put that in there. So modarchive.sh is the original product or project rather, and then moddownloader.sh is mine. And one of the things you're going to need first to do is check out the readme. So let's go ahead and just uh, use nano to look at that. So we can go nano readme. Okay. And so it tells you all the stuff about it right here. And then basically what this is, is a very quick way where you can download huge amounts of mod files to your computer. And it just does it automatically and it's absolutely free. And one of the things you'll notice here is the required packages. You need to make sure that you have these installed uh, before you try to run this script or it won't work. Most of these like awk, grep, sed, uh, you should already have on any Linux distribution. They should already be there. But you may not have HTML to text, 
and you may not have curl and uh, am I, uh, mic mod is the one I use and that's actually just a mod player so in order to play the mods you'll need one of these so mic mod or open CP or audacious um, I have both audacious and mic mod but I like mic mod or mic mod or whatever it's called uh, that one's my favorite because it's console based and so is open CP I'm pretty sure um, so anyway once you have all those you'll see the instructions here but these also come up when we actually try to run the script so I'm not gonna read through those just yet I'm gonna exit out of here alright now let's just go ahead first what we need to do is make my script executable so in order to do that we're gonna go ch mod and then dash or I'm sorry plus X and then mod downloader dot sh press enter and that'll make that script executable now if we run this script in order to run a uh, bash script uh, what you do is you type dot and then slash and then the name of the script okay and then press enter there and so if you don't run it with any options it's going to pop up with all the the help screen that you see there that we were just looking at before and this tells you basically how to use it so let's scroll up a little bit and the two main things that you need to have here um, or, or, or the one main thing definitely is the number and this is just how many tracks you want to download so what you're going to do is you're going to type in the script and then hyphen n and then type in a number and that'll tell like say if you want to get a hundred mods downloaded which really takes up very little space um, just type in uh, n space 100 and then down here the s command that will tell uh, the script where to download the modules from or what parts of the mod archive so if we go back here to the mod archive uh, we can see there's artists um, there's a search feature uh, there's here favorites we have latest editions random favorites quick picks um, all these things are relevant to the script so let me go back to my terminal and down here uh, random if you just select uh, s and then random it'll just pull random modules from the entire archive and I like to do that one a lot of times because uh, a lot of times I just like pretty much anything uh, that's in there and then if you want to do artist you can do dash a and search by artist and module you can search by title and file name genre now this is one that I added that wasn't in the original script and this one's a little tricky uh, but it's not that tricky really all you have to do is if you want to do it by genre first what you would do is you go to the mod archive and then you uh, go here where is it to um, browse by genre and then once you're in this section you hover your mouse over whichever genre that you're uh, wanting to get and then you look down here on in, uh, your web browser and see the address there you see that address where it says modarchive.org and then it says query equals 103 that number 103 you notice how that changes over each uh, genre that I hover my mouse over. That is the number uh, assigned to that particular genre. So that is how you would um, select genre in this script. Uh, so that's the only thing that's a little bit tricky about it. And down here, here's some hints. If you use the plus symbol instead of blank spaces, um, you basically have to do that if you're searching by artist. And uh, you can actually search me in here. I have some modules up there, demonic sweaters, and uh, I have several actually. So you can get all of my modules that I created. And okay, so let's go ahead and run the script. So let's type in mod downloader, and then we're gonna go number. Let's do 10, and then let's go by artist. So we're gonna do S, or no, sorry, A, artist and then we're going to try demonic plus sweaters and then press enter and now here when it says where do you want to save the mods you actually have to type out the full path so let's do home mods oops sorry no it would be home justin 
mods. You can't use uh, tilde as your home shortcut, that won't work. So you have to actually type out uh, the full uh, path. Let me make sure I have a folder called home mods first. Yeah, I do. Okay, so that's where we're gonna save them. And then just press enter. Now it's gonna find all of the demonic, demonic sweaters, or at least 10 of the demonic sweaters mods. And let's see, what did I do here? I did something weird. Um, no such file or directory. That usually means I typed in, oh, I see what I did. I typed in mod rather than mods uh, for the uh, file path. So let's do home, Justin, mods. Try that again. All right. Okay. Now the strange thing that I'm noticing here is some of those uh, modules that it's downloading aren't mine. I'm not sure whose those are or why it's downloading those with the search term. Uh, one of the things I noticed was the search function in uh, Mod Archive. It's a little bit screwy. We may have to do uh, just demonic sweaters without spaces at all. I think that is how I got it to work the last time. So let me try that. Let's get rid of that plus. And let's do home. Justin mods. Okay, let's see if it finds me now. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, see, it's it found my mods this time. And so it's just downloading. I mean, it downloaded those other ones too. So that's really all you have to do. Uh, once you just uh, run the command, it'll just download the mods automatically. And then once it finishes, we can open up Mike Mod. So let's open that up. And then we can go to Playlist. And then uh, we're going to go to File. Oops. Then load. Let's go to my mods folder. And then let's just add. And then I'm not sure if you can hear that. Let me see. I might have to hook something up here. Oh, maybe you can't. Okay. So yeah, that's all you have to do. And then Mike Mod is a really cool, uh, really cool program because let's escape out of that. Oops. Anyway, let's pause that. Um, but to get out of this, let's go back to just go B and then back. And then we can go into the samples. You can see the samples that are playing. Uh, if you go to H, that shows you all the commands for Mic Mod. Uh, C is configuration, which you can select your output options and playback options and all of that. Uh, it's really cool. I, I just really like it. I wish I had a scrolling, uh, you know, like a tracker scrolling view. It doesn't have that, but it has, you know, this, which is pretty cool. So there you have it, and um, that's how you can get a bunch of mods. I mean, you could type in as your number, you could type in a thousand, and you'll have like a ridiculously huge uh, mod collection on your computer. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. And modules take up very little space. I mean, you can see if we go in and look at these, uh, how tiny they actually are. Let's go into the mods folder. And you can see uh, 333 kilobytes, 153 kilobytes. You know, they're very tiny. Uh, they're like a fraction of the size of an mp3 even so you could ha easily have like a hundred thousand songs on your hard drive if you wanted to and uh so yeah uh it will also play if you want to play them in like uh vlc uh they'll play in that as well and uh, they'll play like it depends on if you have the uh there's a plugin that you have to install for v uh vlc which i can't remember the name of but if you just google uh mod uh plugin vlc 
or not Google it, but, you know, search it in the repositories. You'll find it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. I think it's a, it's a fun thing. And, uh, if you want to do the actual, the other script, which is the mod, let's exit out of here. And if you do mod archive dot sh, it pretty much works the same. You just type in uh, all the search features, and then instead of downloading it, it'll just download them into a temporary folder, and then play them. And then once it's done playing them, it deletes them. Um, so you don't have to save them if you use the other script. But it works pretty much exactly the same. You just can't search by uh, genre and what else that's about all but the the problem with the the one that doesn't download is i often find that it'll just basically stay stick on the same module forever it seems to have problems switching to the next one in the list um so i prefer to use my script rather than the one that i forked this off of but you may find that it works good for you so either way they're both pretty cool and uh if you found this useful uh, be sure to click the like button and subscribe. Click that bell icon too because that'll notify you every time I upload a new video. And if you really find these videos educational and helpful, uh, feel free to check out my Patreon page, which is just uh, patreon.com slash Linux Music Studio. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.